Have you ever wondered what lurks in the grass beneath your feet? It seems like just green and silence, but the truth is much more interesting. It's a kingdom of invisible warriors, masters of camouflage and unpredictable hunters. And the main one of them is a grasshopper. This is not just a green insect, it's a killing machine. It has unique talents, powerful legs for jumping, sharp jaws for hunting, and an amazing ability to blend in with the environment. Friends, hello everyone. You're on the Animal Instinct channel, and today we'll see what a grasshopper and its closest relative, the cricket, are capable of. Finding materials for the video wasn't easy, so I'd be very grateful if you would support the video with a like and subscribe to the channel. Get comfortable, we're starting. Grasshoppers belong to the order of Orthoptera insects, and there are no less than 6,000 species of them. Grasshoppers can be distinguished from locusts by their long, movable antennae. As a rule, they exceed the length of the insect's body, and sometimes the antennae can be two or three times longer. They are necessary for touch, and you'll see long antennae in action later. But locusts have short antennae that don't even reach half the length of the body. They get information about the world around them, mainly through sight. In addition, grasshoppers have longer and more powerful hind legs, which allow them to make huge jumps. Grasshoppers and locusts are famous musicians. The file with which they play works almost the same way as the bow of a violin. And some grasshoppers have excelled in this, producing quite a loud sound, like this giant Malaysian grasshopper. By the way, despite its size, it's a completely harmless insect that mainly feeds on greenery. Locusts, for their melodies, usually use their hind legs. They have small spines that the insects rub against each other, making a sound. Locusts, the brightest representative of which is the locust, are mostly herbivores. They feed by cutting off leaves and shoots of plants, and this is a very big danger for humans, because it has two phases of life that are very different from each other. But I'll tell you about it another time. Let's see what grasshoppers are capable of in action, and we'll start with the grasshopper versus the caterpillar. The caterpillar of the butterfly looks quite strange. A forked tail, sharp spines on its back, and a hard armored head. Few people will like it, and its jaws can chew through more than just leaves. Although the terrifying appearance is the caterpillar's main defense, today a hunter with perfect camouflage has gone hunting. It's able to remain unnoticed right in front of its prey. Even the veins of its wings look like the veins of a leaf. But this leaf is actually a predator, a horned grasshopper. It looks very intimidating. Its front legs are covered with spines that hold the prey and prevent it from escaping. Powerful sickle-shaped jaws can gnaw through even heavy armor. What else do you need for a successful hunt? The caterpillar begins to sway, mimicking a snake. It has an effect, and the grasshopper freezes, not knowing what to do. But soon he interrupts the caterpillar's performance and delivers a precise blow. The caterpillar tries to twist. It bends its tail, trying to strike back, but the grasshopper holds the prey securely with its front legs and digs into the soft body of the victim. This grasshopper never eats greenery. Even eating a caterpillar, it doesn't touch its insides to avoid dangerous chemicals. The caterpillar was easy prey, but grasshoppers can attack larger insects as well. For example, here a green grasshopper attacked a cicada. In fact, it's a large fly, even bigger than the grasshopper, but it doesn't bother him. He holds the cicada with his front legs and searches for a place to sink his jaws. The cicada tries to take off, but it can't. And the grasshopper, meanwhile, begins to bite off the fly's legs one after another, leaving it no chance of escape. Here's another video where a grasshopper caught a cicada, and this kind of hunt takes place in the forest, right on a tent, to the delight of vacationing tourists. It's not often you can capture something like this. There are thousands of species of grasshoppers, and not all of them manage to get along with each other. This brightly colored grasshopper looks very unusual. It feels like it's made of different parts, but it's a real predator and a very aggressive one at that. When all the insects are hiding, this grasshopper calmly crawls along the leaves and eats anyone who crosses its path. But there is another hunting enthusiast living nearby, the bulging-eyed grasshopper. It's a very fast predator, possessing everything necessary for a successful hunt. Spines on its front legs, sharp mandibles, excellent vision, and high speed leave the prey no chance. What will happen if these two grasshoppers meet on the same path? The bright grasshopper shows its aggression and attacks first, but the opponent has an excellent reaction and gets away from the attack. Again the attack, and again it misses. 
The bulging-eyed grasshopper moves too fast, and here is the third attack of the bright grasshopper, and this time he managed to grab his opponent. It's impossible to escape from such an embrace, and the grasshopper starts its meal, after which there will be scraps of the defeated scattered everywhere. This huge grasshopper hunts a small locust and easily catches it. But another dangerous predator, a mantis, is watching nearby, and it has set its sights on a large prey. But the grasshopper is no slouch either, and shows how powerful its legs are. True, this didn't stop the mantis, and it decides to attack. It throws the grasshopper off the branch, and the battle begins on the ground. But the mantis overestimated its strength, and after several blows, the rivals part ways. The mantis goes off to find easier prey, and the grasshopper returns to finish its lunch. By the way, there is a whole series of videos on the channel about mantises. I recommend you watch it. Speaking of the mantis, it's impossible not to mention another fighter, the angular-winged grasshopper. It's a heavyweight pro that looks like a leaf from the outside, but it's an incredibly dangerous predator. It's well-armed. Not only its front legs, but also the second pair are covered with spines. Long antennae antennas unmistakably determine the distance to the prey, and a large head hides a developed oral apparatus and powerful chewing muscles. But when faced with a mantis, the outcome is unpredictable. While the grasshopper measures the opponent with its antennae, the mantis immediately goes on the attack and forces the grasshopper to retreat. Again, the mantis attacks, but this time it misses, and the grasshopper keeps feeling the opponent with its antennae. But what was that? In slow motion, you can see how the grasshopper, in a fraction of a second, practically grabbed the mantis and captures it with its spiny legs. All that's left is to use its sharp jaws. And this rather creepy grasshopper with red eyes is called the leaf-like devil. It got such a sinister name for a reason. Its whole body is covered with sharp triangular spines, and this creature can grow up to 6 out of 7 centimeters in length. And it's also omnivorous and very fond of hunting someone. For example, here it caught a small locust, which became its lunch, and here a cricket was out of luck, and it also becomes food for the leaf-like devil. The grasshopper is so aggressive that it can even attack mantises. True, it's not so easy to deal with them, and it's better to jump away in time. And these are amazing shots of a grasshopper attacking a lizard. And the lizard is not to be envied at all. The grasshopper holds it with its front legs and immediately starts to eat. Just like in the video about the mantis. I don't know about you, but I don't understand why this happened. Because lizards run very fast. Small crickets are often used as food for tarantula spiders, and there are no problems with them. But what if the cricket is a little bigger? This is a real attack aircraft of the beetle world. Huge eyes look ahead at the prey, front legs with sharp spines, and of course, sharp saw blade jaws, and also wings, which allow it to move quickly and unexpectedly attack the enemy. The tarantula decides to strike first, but immediately retreats. In a short fight, he lost a leg. He crawls into his burrow and seals the entrance with a signal web. But the cricket liked the taste of the tarantula's legs, and he went for more. The spider has the advantage in the burrow, and he pushes the cricket out of there. But it seems that only made him angry, and the cricket makes a second attempt. He manages to pull the tarantula out of the burrow, and now no one can stop him. The spider is deprived of solid protection, and the cricket's jaws cut into him like a knife through butter. And this happens in the wild. But there is also the New Zealand cricket, which is one of the heaviest insects, and it also has something to show. Write in the comments if you want to make a video on this topic. Here, a parasitic wasp has grabbed a grasshopper and paralyzed it. Now he is completely in her power, and all the wasp has to do is dig a hole and immure the grasshopper there alive. By the way, there is a video on this topic on the channel, and ordinary wasps also sometimes attack grasshoppers, and often such fights end not in favor of the latter. Lizards will also never give up on grasshoppers, especially if they're not big. Spiders also love grasshoppers, especially when they jump into the web themselves, then no sharp jaws will help. True, some still manage to get free, but I'll probably leave this video without comment. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would be happy if you could rate it with a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel because there is still a lot of interesting things ahead of you. And I'm saying goodbye to you for a while. See you later.